I'm Richard Southern in the 680 Newsroom. Well, you may want to think about putting down your uh, work phone when you're not on the job. A new study is out linking handling work emails to poor health. A study out of Virginia Tech found just the expectation of having to answer work emails during non-work hours was linked to higher rates of anxiety, poorer overall health, and even problems with relationships. And while the participants themselves didn't necessarily report poor relationship quality, their significant others did. As for what to do about this, the authors say companies may want to tackle the issue by putting into place rules uh, regarding when you can send an email, maybe have some no email hours after a certain time every day. Another interesting report out this morning looking at tattoos in the workplace. And maybe it was once the case where if you went on a job interview, you might uh, cover up some tattoos if you had them. You don't need to do that anymore. So says the University of Miami Business School. It finds the job seekers have a better chance of being hired if the interviewer spots some ink on them. Uh, the reason is because body art now very fashionable. Wages and annual earnings of tattooed employees were significantly indistinguishable from those without them. So you're not facing any... Uh, uh, lower salaries if you got some tattoos around the office these days. All right, got some more news on the uh, efforts to take Tesla private, the electric car company. We heard today from uh, CEO Elon Musk. He said he's in talks with Saudi Arabian Sovereign Wealth Fund uh, about taking the car maker uh, private. He, they would uh, provide the funding to do so. He says, though, no deal has yet been finalized. Musk in a blog post uh, said most of the funding would be in stock rather than debt. Investors who don't want to stay with the private company will be paid 420 bucks per share. Musk says he expects about one third third of shareholders will be selling. Tesla stock moving a bit higher on that news today. Finally, hot button subject. What is the most taboo uh, subject these days? They say it's actually how much money you make. Take a look at this new survey that they had out. It asked people, what do you feel most comfortable about discussing at a dinner party? Surprisingly, politics. People were okay talking about that, 43%. Romantic uh, relations, 40% down with talking about that. And religion and medical conditions, no problem. But income level, only 11% comfortable talking about how much money they make. Uh, that more true for those over the age of 65, just 9% were comfortable talking about salary. Less true for the so-called millennial group, the younger workers, 25% of whom were okay if the topic of salary came up. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.